Calvin Dark is an international affairs analyst and he's principal of RC Communications. It's an international consulting firm. He's joining us live from Washington. Thank you very much indeed for your time, sir. To those of us watching the summit from the outside, the tones appear to be somewhat subdued compared to previous years. What's your take on what's been going on and the dynamics of this? Well, I think that subdued tone that you are perceiving is exactly right. And I think it's due to two reasons. One is, and we've known this, I think this is Donald Trump's third G7, he does not like these multilateral uh, meetings where he has to be the master of the deal with other world leaders that don't answer to him. And that's nothing new. But the second dynamic that I think made this G7 a little more subdued is that last year, many of the other world leaders were thinking about how to accomplish their individual countries' goals and the multilateral goals within the framework of what Donald Trump was doing in his America First policy. This year, I get the sense that a lot of them are adding an element of waiting it out. Because, as you know, we are well underway for the 2020 elections here in the United States. And I think, particularly China, Iran, and to some extent North Korea, they realize that it might be best to wait this out to see if Donald Trump is going to get reelected or to see who they're going to be dealing with in just a little over a year. So I think that's why there was kind of this muted, subdued tone to the G7 this year. Okay, let me just uh, deal with some of those specifics you've been talking about. Let's start with Iran. It, it looked as though that President Emmanuel Macron was uh, really putting forward the suggestion that the possibility could happen that there would be a meeting between the U.S. and Iranian presidents. Do you think he's doing this more from a position of hope rather than expectation? I honestly think he's doing it from a position of desperation just because on the one hand, it's totally possible that the U.S. President Donald Trump would meet with the Iranian president because he went to the demilitarized zone and met with Chairman uh, Kim Jong-un in North Korea, so anything's possible. But he also knows that it was a really weird dynamic in the press conference today because you have President uh, Macron talking about the ways that they were trying to strengthen the deal as it remained without the U.S., while the president of the United States was standing beside him justifying why the U.S. got out of it because it was such a bad deal. So I think uh, Emmanuel Macron is trying to salvage as much as he can with the multilateral world relations with Iran to salvage as much as possible with the U.S. not being in the Iran deal. Carbon Dark, we appreciate your time and, uh, and your thoughts. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.